This is Lucas, and today I'm going to show you a ground battery that I invented. And uh, I got the idea of looking at earth batteries on YouTube, so I figured I'd forward my knowledge for free out there to everybody. And what I did was, is I have this large piece of power cable here, and I left the, you can see the insulator has been left on it, and I've coiled some regular iron wire all the way around it in a nice coil. I don't know how many turns, that's not really uh, uh, something I'm going to be investigating, but I got quite a bit of turns. It goes all the way down here. And what I've made essentially is an anode and cathode for the battery and the two ends of the iron wire I just put together. I have one already buried over here if you want to see it. And <clears throat> all you got to do is put water on it and it will produce a charge. And I'm going to show you that if you got a multimeter right here. I've got 0 0.6 volts coming off this. If you look at the multimeter, it says zero. But if I take it over here and I put, touch the two ends, you can see, whoop, actually got almost a volt now. Oh, I got it backwards. Almost a volt now, if you look, out of just the one battery itself. And uh, yeah, that's just how this works. And I'm going to be pairing these two up here. And uh, hopefully, together with everything that I have here, I'll be able to charge a cell phone in an upcoming video. But I just wanted to um, test some ground batteries that I made. And I just wanted to be able to make these out of scrap wire because this is stuff that people can find around and disassemble easily themselves in their backyard for whatever purposes. And hopefully uh, when I get my power converter here, or I may just make a buck converter myself, I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully when I get that in here, I'll be able to charge a cell phone with it. So I'm going to go through the whole process. Like I said, no, no tricks or nothing like that. Here's the, here's the device here. Put it in the ground. The cover pieces over in the ground, you can see, and we keep the insulation stuck up just a little bit from the ground, right there. Okay, we're going to pour some water on it. Now, when I first started, the other one started at um, 0 0.6 volts to start, and then it jumped up there when we did this video. Xavier's doing my video for me right now. And just so we'll, we'll cycle it back through so you know that I'm not playing around here. I'm going to two. We're at a zero, okay? So then I just touch the two. And you can see this one here is at 680. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. 0.6 volts. 0.6 volts already. 0.7. See it slowly going up. It's slowly going up as the water uh, gets into the device and makes it more wet. Um, so we got 0.8. Let's go back to the other one and see how it's been now, boy. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> what do we got there? 0.9. Yeah, this one's at 9 already. Almost a volt coming off one of them. So, uh, again, this is Lucas coming at you with a uh, way to get some free power. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, let me see.